I keep heading north of Botswana and it's going to take around 3 hours, 180 kilometers to reach the next stop, Nata. Every morning when I wake up, I feel in the rush, like if I have somebody to meet or something very special to do, but it's not the case, right? I'm free, I've got nothing planned and nothing special, right? But it's very funny to say that you need to adapt to freedom. And yeah, it's, it's very contradictory, right? But I guess it's part of this new adventure. <laughs> And, and right, you can't adapt to freedom because freedom should be natural, a natural thing. Because it's you and, and, and yourself and your freedom, but you need to adapt to it. The tea breakfast. Slowly, slowly. When I was in Cape Town, um, uh, some, I met some people at the Table Mountain and uh, we became friends. They hosted me for a week. They were so kind. They spoiled me so much. I don't understand why, because people are so kind with me, really, uh, here in Africa. They gave me this hammock and I never really like used hammock before, but now like I love it very much so every time I find trees and stuff so I can hang it I do it <laughs> At this very moment, I'm realizing the freedom I was talking about earlier. I don't even stick to a fixed itinerary. I leave this solo expedition at my own pace. My heart and emotions are the main GPS. If I want to chill, to relax, to stop time for a minute, for a day or for a week, I do it. If I want to rush it, I fold the tent, I pack my stuff and I hit the road, straight away. This freedom of action and non-action is so powerful. 
but I do need to adapt to it because such a great freedom is weirdly not as instinctive as we would imagine. A few meters from the hammock, this beautiful southern yellow-billed hornbill came to visit. We can observe 24 species of hornbills or zazu in Africa. The southern yellow-billed one is a very curious bird and entertaining to watch. Adults can reach 48 to 60 centimeters in length and weight less than 240 grams. Later that day, an adorable bush baby is seriously planning on stealing my food. Their plaintive cries and cute appearance may account for the name bush baby. A little bit bigger than a squirrel, they have long, round eyes for good night vision and bat-like delicate ears that enable them to track insect prey in the dark. As they jump through thorn bush or thick growth, they fold the ears flat against their head to protect them. Landry day today, sunny and windy. I even like washed, the, well, washed, just put some water on this. I actually arrived here two days ago. I really like this place. I've been here two years ago when I was roaming in, in Southern Africa. Um, I knew about COVID and, you know, um, I was worried for my family. I was uh, worried for my travel because I was supposed to travel the world. And obviously after Africa, everything has been canceled. I went to Gaboron to isolate, blah, blah, blah. We know the story. Now I'm here in Nata and I'm slowly heading to the top north part of Botswana, very close um, to Zambia, so I'll be able to cross the border with Zambia. I enjoyed the last uh, moments here in, in Botswana, but I come back. I'll be back in maybe 10 months or a year or something. I don't follow a fixed itinerary, but I want to keep on drawing the route I drove. And this paper mat will surely become one of my favorite souvenirs of the solo African expedition. I'm actually very curious to see where life is going to bring me. I've got certain countries that I really want to explore and others that I'm still not very sure about. But again, no pressure. I need to be surprised, amazed, mesmerized, but I'm also more than ready to learn biggest lessons. Anyway, I can't wait to open this map in six months and in a year from now. This is what I drove so far. Starting from Cape Town all the way up to Botswana and then touring Botswana on my way slowly to Zambia. Okay, I was happy and with my pasta and I was so proud and look, it's raining. 
it's raining so I'm eating inside the car it's not very warm so better to be to stay in the cab mm. oh, I like that to sleep and to um, centralize my energy 